welcome to another fantastic edition of JNL videos. Oh, in our last video we had, I uh, said that we had some more sweet things in store, and this this just happens to be one of them. This is a all crop 72 that uh, we'll have to make a video on that. But uh, the the guy that I purchased my Model 33 corn harvester from, he heard from one of his co-workers that this was for sale and that uh so then he let us know about it and uh that's how we acquired that so thanks to kevin but there's more in store but uh i figured i we were gonna to give it a test run and you could see see it all the moving parts and yeah where did we find that this yep in uh foley minnesota mm. which is like an hour and a half drive from here so that was a long long haul back because it's too wide for a uh, it's too wide for a implement or any kind of trailer really you'd have to jack one side up and take a wheel off and then it'd be too wide anyway so then you'd have to have a special I'm assuming permits and stuff so yeah I pulled it home with my truck I may have had a fancy hitch made we'll show you that and uh, yeah so it would it would trail a lot better so it wouldn't hang out into oncoming traffic too far and uh yeah so i suppose i could fire this up and you guys could see it move This is a this is a pretty good find I think it's in it's in pretty good shape like all the decals are like in really good condition I haven't seen too many with decals this nice for being being original and uh, well it's shedded most of its life so it's a 1962 right. oh wait no 1963 63 yeah so it's not even that old as far as collector equipment goes <laughs> But uh, yeah, well, I made a, I made a short little video of the uh, kind of my hitch setup when I was on the way home, and I also made I, I recorded a quick little video that will will include now. <laughs> Wondering what I'm doing today is uh, pulling this here all crop home. Yeah, we're I pulled it home from Bully, Minnesota. So far, I got about I don't know, probably about 12, 15 miles to go. You're wondering why it's trailing my truck so uh, so nicely is uh, yeah, I got this uh, fancy dancy hitch made. So instead of pulling straight from my receiver there, it gives me a good two, three feet to the uh, shoulder side, which uh, if you guys look, 
from here, see my blinky lights, I'm all legal, tail lights and everything. Is uh, you know, it's like same same with the width of my truck, you know. That wheel pretty much follows right in my tire track. So, so that's pretty cool. I figure you guys would like to see that. So there you go. I hope you enjoy the quick sneak peek of this newest addition to the collection. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And we hope to hope that we're gonna take it to the Orange Spectacular. We're probably not gonna combine with it, but it'll be displayed there. So if you come, feel free to look for it. It'll be amongst, I'm assuming, the rest of the all crops. And uh, it's got it's got the oat sieves in it now. So I think they plant wheat. I don't think they're the same. I'd have to check the manual, but. Uh, <laughs> We're uh, hopefully at our little show beforehand. We can combine some oats that they're gonna bundle for thrashing. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.